Welcome back, Cancer. This is Earth Angel 444 Tarot Love Guide. And I am back with a general love reading for Cancers. So let's see what the Holy Spirit has for you today. Please. Thank you. Okay. And we've got flirt at the bottom of the deck. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay. Cancer, um, so this could be you or your person. Just take the energy how it resonates. Sometimes they are switched. It looks as though you are currently very optimistic about your love life and your positive energy and your faith, it will bring you romance. So um, it looks as though self-fulfilling prophecy might be the thing for you here. You are um, possibly in a space where you're continually giving your love and extending your love um, because you want to keep this optimism going. You want to be positive. You want to keep the positive thinking going in your love life. Um, however, it looks like you might need to take back your energy and free yourself. So, um, and when I say take back your energy, you want to, um, take back whatever energy you've invested in your relationship or trying to make this work. That's actually causing you to feel caged in, um, because your blockage is freeing yourself. So it looks like it's hard for you to take back control of your life. You could be in a space where your relationship is dominating almost every aspect of your life. And. And um, although, you know, you are putting forth this positive action, you're putting forth positive thought vibrations and you're investing um, all of your best into this relationship, you may need to take a step back just a little bit from the obsessiveness of making this work. Um, you do want to consider that this is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And there is tons of attraction here. Your, your attraction to the romantic love that you're, um, you attract romantic love by enjoying this, the current moment fully. And the attraction that you have for your, cur your current or your romantic love is helping you to, to bring more enjoyment in your life. But there could be a blockage here because of you wanting this to work so badly. Um, anytime we put too much pressure on things or we hold, we hold things, um, we, we actually stop, we stop current positive energies. We stop, we stop the beauty of things from growing and flowing naturally. So you're being guided to free yourself. Um, this is your soulmate. There is attraction there. There is flirtation there. There is optimism. And it looks as though the relationship is very, very bright. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of nurturing. And there's a lot of give and take in the relationship. Um, but releasing some things to allow other things to flow more smoothly is definitely going to benefit you and take the relationship to a whole nother level. Um, the outcome here is clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So if you've been having doubts about um, your relationship or the positivity of the connection, the attractiveness of the connection, whether or not it's um, mutual, if this is the correct person, it looks as though, yes, this is your person um, and it's okay for you to let go a little bit and release control of things um, a little bit more so that there can be more attraction more optimism, more flirtation, and the soulmate connection can truly, truly flourish. Um, so if there, are, if there are doubts that are holding you back, you could be having sleepless nights about certain things. There could be things that are making you feel a little bit trapped. Um, these are things that you want to just kind of release and step back and allow, um, just allow that space between you and your partner so things can organically work themselves out. Um, you can't be too controlling to 
pushy or possessive because in the end it actually makes you feel more bound um, and, and then you lose control in that way. So in, a, in an attempt to control another person and their behaviors or their actions, it actually begins to um, strip control away from you because you limit yourself and what you're capable of doing. And you also limit the other person by putting up all of these boundaries and, and kind of pushing the outcome, so to speak. So um, just remembering that you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So just being caught in the moment, the moment of love, the moment of understanding in that moment of flirtation, being caught in that moment and not so much focused on what is to come later, um, five years down the road, 10 years down the road, or even a year from now. Being so fixated and caught up on those things can cause blockages um, and make your make you feel smothering or make you feel smothered in the relationship. Okay. And that's all I've got for you, cancer. Bye.